Right guys, here we are, welcome back to the channel, episode 6 today. Today it is Sao Paulo at home and we have had a very interesting last sort of like 8, 9 games. Um, so if you remember we were 7 points behind, that has now changed. But I didn't want to do a spoiler just yet. So I've got this guy on, he is joining us in the summer, his name is Ramirez. And he looks just like the Ramirez that used to play for Chelsea. But according to this, according to his info, he's not brothers with anyone, which I thought it would normally say. Um, so if you do know if that's his younger brother, let me know down in the comments. That'll be muchly appreciated. Right. League table. Are you ready? There we are. There we are. Sao Paulo... Today's opponents are now eight points behind us. Their run has been nothing short of horrendous. Now, there is a few Copa Libertadores and Brasilia games in there. So let's get rid of them. But they've lost three on the bounce, four in seven. So they've not won in seven games. Um, their wheels have well and truly come off. Now, for us, a little bit different. We did struggle just a little bit. Um, after Chapacuenza Chapa, Chapa game, we rotated the squad because we had to do because they were absolutely knackered. And despite having like 23 shots and them having nine, they scored three goals, which was brilliant. We then struggled against Palmeiras. Even in game, I think it was a really early goal, quite an early goal. Um, header at the back post. Nothing much in that one. Could have easily been a draw. Um, we then drew with Palen Atletico Paranense, so we are out of the Copa do Brasil. Never mind. Never mind. It's probably helped us on our run because, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six games, six wins. Three clean sheets in a row, four clean sheets in six games. We are looking really strong. Now, in the last game, we didn't actually play very well at all. We kind of got battered for once. Um, but we were on the on the winning end of a sort of like, not part of the bus, but a very good away performance. So today is Sao Paulo. I think we're four points clear at the top. A win today will put us seven points clear with ten games to go and put Sao Paulo well and truly out of the title race finding it in this i've just signed a new contract the dynamics are still poor look at all these people that are unhappy everyone is whinging and i mean everyone i've got this guy he's only 19 years old he's in my reserves he's two and a half star look he's my fourth best right back and he's wanting more game time and um, he will get it next year because i'm going to obviously offload these two um so he's going to be in there for the start of the season but Fucking hell, just chill out, will you? Diego Alves is still out of the squad. I hope he might be able to get a little bit of money for him at the end of the season, which should be very good. Tactic-wise, we've gone with two up at the moment. That's what we're going with at the moment. Uh, Malcolm's coming to a little bit of form. Probably not enough to, to, to offer him a new deal. Three free kicks them as well. No assists from a winger is pretty disappointing. But we've got no one else really to play there anyway. Lincoln has done well for us. 12 goals in his first season, 18 years old. We're going to try and keep hold of him as long as we possibly can. Um, Barbosa's on a bit of a downward spiral at the moment. He hasn't played well for a number of weeks. But I think that's as strong as we get. Let's get Duarte in. And we will go with that. I don't think I'm going to actually keep Barbosa on. Unless I can get a, re a much better deal. I am paying 55000 a week for him. That's for sure. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of deal we can do with him at the end of the season. Here we go. They've got Pato up front. And the goals he scored. <clears throat> 15 in 53. Not great for the 30-year-old. Not on much money, though. Zimbos Barbosa. 22 in 44. It's only 10 in the league, though. Where it's value seven million. That is dropping nicely every time he every month it's going down slowly, but I don't know. I don't know. Really undecided about him at the moment. <clears throat> the only thing is 
there isn't going to be a lot around. I don't think, unless especially coming from other leagues, it'll be literally trying to sign someone in the in the league, which obviously will be easier if we're champions. Malcolm, he's gone from it long distance. It's a comfortable save. <gasps> Hernanes, yeah, we were in trouble there, weren't we? He's 34. At least that's a free kick where we can't whinge about the goalkeeper. And now it's got him. That went right in the roof of the net. Right in the top corner. So we've got a little bit of work to do here, boys. I'm going to change the style in the summer as well. It's just trying to get through this season. If we can be champions this season, it'll be absolutely class. But just want to get through this season. And then we'll definitely look at changing it. I am going to change to a sort of like a shorter style. Um, any... Any people want to drop me links of other tactics people that they that either that they're using or links of downloads that they've used before? Sure, I mean, we're going to be looking at a four-one, two centre midfielders, two wide, and then a striker, something like that. Let me know in the comments. I will definitely take a look at it. And this has been a shambles to half time. We've done absolutely nothing. Big game as well. They haven't won. They haven't. We've won six on the trot, and they haven't won for seven. Not got a great deal on the bench either to really. <sighs> nothing. It's absolutely nothing on there. Nothing that can change the game anyway. I had to put work into the box on last few weeks because it's got to the point where they were just all our all our shots were coming from long range. A couple of teams had done two holding midfielders against us as well, which didn't help. So like a little bit sat really deep. Here we go. Just get one goal. Take a point. 20 minutes to go. We're going to get a goal as soon as possible. 20 minutes left. We haven't created anything, have we? Shame as well because our defence, everything's gone to pot in this episode. Defence has been good. Two goals considering six games before this one. Tackle from Dominguez. Here we go. We get some at Aracita. Oh, he's putting bad balls. So he's in. He's in. He's in. He's in. He could have just passed it to Vitinho there, couldn't he? Come on. Come on. Oh, he missed everybody. Free kick. I don't know where they got that from. Don't know where they got that from. Got one potential, two potential, really. We're going to go. <clears throat> Enrique on. Just as a change, he's come on for Ar Ar Aracita, but just anything just to change it up a little bit. Oh, he's getting sent off. <laughs> oh, this has been a disaster. An absolute disaster. I'm going to have to do my homework, I think, with a new tactic. Oh, that was going in. <laughs> it was a decent block. He scored a couple. He's transfer listed, Mota. Um, he's transfer listed. He's valued at 8 million, but I've had clubs in Europe just offering like 1.8 million. So we've rejected him so far. He hasn't been bothered by that just yet. But he's got a couple of good goals. In, but I didn't want to sell him. He can go at the end of the season. I, I can't afford to lose him. He's a ball winning midfielder. Pato is in. Ooh, save from Cesar. And that's going to be it. So title race is going to be well and truly back on for Sao Paulo. Said we could have really extended it to seven points and it's not to be. The players still don't like me. They still think I'm an absolute twat. I've signed a new deal, two year deal, 15 and a half grand a week. So we've made a little bit of money last month. We got 650,000 for the getting to the quarterfinals of the Copa de Brazil and then we sold the what was he, Colombian, a Turbe, was he, the striker that we didn't really play? Um, he gone, so we're making, we're making a little bit of finance-wise. We're doing all right. We've got 11 million in the budget, 17 overall balanced. We've had a lot of money this season as well, so it's going well. Hopefully be able to do a, little, a lot of work in the winter. Right, where's this league table? So 10 games to go. We are five points out of Sao Paulo. Even maybe Palmeiras. You know, aren't completely out of it. We have got the goal difference. Our goal difference is very good. We're just amazing because we're not scoring that many goals. Coming up, 
the fixture list to be fair is not too bad um i think they're bottom yeah they're bottom teams that are down near the bottom look so you would hope 16th 15th corinthians 7th that'll be tough goa 13th fluminese i think are near the bottom as well they're third bottom 18th 19th Paranese of 8th as well, International 10th, and Cruz, Cruzio, Cruzero is it? 11th. We've got a brilliant running. We've got a brilliant running. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to play a good 4, 5, maybe maybe October and November games and just leave the last two for an end of season spectacular. Um, I bet you didn't think I'd be top of the league, though. I was 7 points behind... Uh, Sao Paulo in the last end of the last episode and we've clawed it back they've now caught us up a little bit so I've just wanted to at the moment tactic wise we're just doing a bit of bloody kick and rush stuff and I enjoy it with the Man United one because we're really good at it but we're not we're kind of limped through this season really so I do want to change it up I think I might even have another look <clears throat> I think I'm going to have to keep it for now I don't want to be changing tactic again for like the fifth time this season. We'll try and get over the line. And um, what we might do is we might just knock off that and that. And maybe that. Just try and play a little a little bit. A little bit more football. We'll go with that for now. So guys, if you've enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like in there. It does help the channel. Comment down below tactic wise how you would like to do it. So I've done a 4-2-3-1 before, I've done a 3-4-3. <clears throat> it, that is proving quite successful in my Man United save. Um, so if you want to see that 3-4-3 next season, let me know in the comments. If you are new and you haven't already subscribed, please click that like, subscribe button. It does mean a lot. And we will see you next Saturday. Stay tuned. Tomorrow is United Way. Cheers, guys. See you later.